call on government orders of the day, numbers three to six. Ngāti Manawa and Ngāti Whare Claim Settlement Bill, second reading. Ngā Wai o Mania Poutou, Waipa River Bill, second reading. Ngāti Pahauera Treaty Claim Settlement Bill, second reading. Ngāti Parau Claim Settlement Bill, second reading. Uh, the Honourable Speaker. Peter Sharples. Speaker, as the lead speaker on this uh, Cognum Bill, covering five iwi, I would request an extension of two minutes on my time. Leave a sort for that purpose. Is there any objection? There is no objection. I shall ring the bell at ten minutes with two minutes to go. The Honourable Peter Sharples. Tēnā Speaker. Speaker, I move that the Ngāti Manawa and Ngāti Whare Claim Settlement Bill, the Ngāwai o Mani o Poto Waipa River Bill, the Ngāti Pahauera Treaty Claim Settlement Bill, and the Ngāti Pro Claim Settlement Bill now be read a second time. Na lida tua tahi kai te mihia te kia kōtau ko halamai nei ki te tēnei pōa a pi kōtau mā ngā mea kāra nō kia tai mai e tikana kia mihia te ki e nei iwi ko a hikoi te hikoi te rorolawa mai te tīmata tanga tai nō ki tēnei rangi na lida tēnā kōtau e kahani tēnā kōtau ia kōtau tīni ai tua ka hoki aku mahara ki a rātau e tū kahana ki te tau toko e nei āhuatanga kai roti i a kōtau iwi Ko Bill Bird te tahi, te Papa Fatu Moana, Tahina Lingata, Megan Joe, Bill Bill Bird, Rato, Menga Mati Otawane, Haide Kota Oki Oki Mai, Nari the Kahuki Oki Tene, Koro Kamihia Tikia Kota Ko Halamani to Pone, Kare Roaku Koro Moene Pire, Nata Mehe Panui Tanga Turu Tene, Waiho Mote. Pānui whakamutunga tuatoru kia o tū motuhake e nei pire kia o tō kōrero mātau i konei i roti i te whare. Heono, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Ngāti Manawa, the area of interest for Ngāti Manawa is based around Murupara and Kaingaroa Plains in the inland Bay of Plenty. The claims of Ngāti Manawa relate primarily to the consequences of their loyalty to the Crown during the New Zealand wars. Crown actions and omissions in respect of the operation and impact of the native land laws, the Crown's land purchasing techniques, particularly in respect of land Ngāti Manawa. This settlement is intended to recognise the traditional, historical, cultural and spiritual interests of Ngāti Manawa. The key aspects of Ngāti Manawa's cultural redress package aim to reinvigorate the relationship between Ngāti Manawa and sites of significance. It is in the intention of the settlement that this will be done through the vesting of sites of particular significance to Ngāti Manawa, the erection of Pōrāhui to mark traditional iwi boundaries, the creation of a body to restore Ngāti Manawa and Ngāti Whare's mana over the ancestral river and their relationship with Tuna, and the transfer and gift back of ancestral Maunga uh, Tafio to Ngati Manawa. Mongati Whare. The claims of Ngati Whare primarily relate to the Crown's actions during the New Zealand Wars, specifically the impact of the Native Land Court and subsequent land alienation, the enactment of the Uruwera District Native Reserves Act 1896 that disenfranchised Ngāti Whare from their land and the return of Minganui village by the Crown without providing Ngāti uh, Whare with sufficient resources to bring the village infrastructure up to the standards of the government. Ngāti Whare settlement acknowledges the Firinaki Te Puatane Conservation Park as a special place to both uh, Ngāti Whare as Kaitiaki and to the people of New Zealand. It also establishes a renewed and enduring partnership between Ngāti Whare and the, and the Crown. In particular, the settlement provides for a joint governance of the Firinaki Te Puatane Conservation Park by Ngāti Whare and the Crown. The settlement also provides Ngāti Whare with assistance to regenerate indigenous uh, mātai, rimu and kahikitea 
in areas of pine forest within the Whirinaki Crown Forest licensing, licensing, licensed land. Ngā wai o Maniapoto Waipa River, Bill. Uh, no, ka mihi o ki a pūtau o, o, o Maniapoto. I acknowledge the work carried out by the Māori Affairs Committee and thank them for their support and guidance on Ngā wai o Maniapoto Waipa River, Bill. The relationship between Ngāti Maniapoto and the Waipa River is significant and enduring based on a deep felt respect that the people of Ngāti Maniapoto have with the river Waipa. This gives rise to their responsibility to protect the mana o te wai and to exercise kaitiakitanga in accordance with their tikanga. Ngāti Maniapoto and Waikato Tainui share a strong relationship through the Tainui Waka and uh, which is manifest in the support they each give to the Kingitanga. In a similar way, their sacred awa, Waikato and Waipa, are inextricably linked. From Ngaru Wahia, the pathways of these rivers join and their waters flow together as one. The overarching purpose of the co-governance and co-management arrangements is to restore and maintain the quality and integrity of the waters that flow into and from form part of the Waipa River for present and future generations. The co-governance arrangements within the bill extend towards the headwaters of the Waipa River at Peke Peke Spring in the Rangitoto Ranges, supporting the ongoing aspirations and responsibilities shared by Ngāti Maniopoto and the Crown to protect and nurture Waipa River. Extending co-governance framework to include the whole of the Waipa River will contribute significantly to achieving an integrated holistic and coordinated approach to the management of both the Waipa River and the Waikato River to the implementation of the vision and strategy and to river rehabilitation and clean-up initiatives. The Ngā Waio Maniapoto Waipa River Bill complements the Waikato River Settlement and the Waikato River Co-Management Deeds with Ngāti Tūwharetō, Raukawa and Te Arawa River Iwi. These arrangements are similar and contribute to establishing a single, unified co-governance framework for both the Waipa River okay. and the Waikato River. The Ngāti Pro Claims Settlement Bill. The grievances of Ngāti Pro are long-standing. This bill recognises and addresses those grievances and settles the historical Treaty of Waitangi claims on Ngāti Pro. The area of interest for Ngāti Pro is on the east coast of the North Island. The historical grievances of Ngāti Pro relate primarily to the Crown's failure to honour its treaty promise to respect Ngāti Pro rangatiratanga over their own affairs. The Crown imposed land tenure reform on Ngāti Pro, which de deprived iwi members of collective control over their land and made it difficult to utilise their land for economic development. While it is not possible to fully compensate Ngāti Pro uh, nor any claimant group for the loss of people that uh, have suffered. The redress in this bill seeks to recognise the long-standing cultural and spiritual association that Ngāti Pro have within the region. It gives effect to the undertakings by the Crown in the deed of settlement by offering reconciliation redress, including an agreed historical account. Crown acknowledgements and apology, cultural redress, that vest sites of cultural and historic significance and a number of arrangements designed to facilitate good working relationships between Ngāti Pro and the Crown. The financial commercial redress of the settlement comprises 90 million in financial and commercial redress, 20 million in cultural and historical redress and redress over Crown properties including licensed forest land. I am confident that the Ngāti Pro Claims Settlement Bill will settle the claims of Ngāti Pro in a full and final matter and set the foundation for a productive future relationship with the Crown. Ngāti Pahauera Treaty Settlements Bill. Finally, I now speak to the Ngāti Pahauera Treaty Claims Settlement Bill. Although I was unable to participate in the policy decisions about Ngāti Pahauera Settlement due to a declared conflict of interest, yeah. It is uh, with great interest that I stand to speak today in the second reading of the bill. Ngāti Pahauera is a confederation of hapu with historical interests 
in Northern Hawke's Bay. The core area of interest extends from south of Wairoa along the coastline to Waikare River and inland from these areas uh, towards uh, Maunga Haruru Range and north towards the Waiau River. The claims of Ngāti Pahauera include the failure of the Crown to make sure that Ngāti Pahauera had sufficient lands for its future needs during the process of the land alienation that began in the 1850s. By the mid-20th century, Ngāti Pahauera was virtually landless and ever since has suffered economic, social and cultural impoverishment. During the New Zealand War, the Crown ignored warnings of a possible attack on Ngāti Pahauera communities at Mohaka. When the attack occurred, the Crown provided minimal assistance to help Ngāti Pahauera recover from the attack on the Pa and Kāinga, even though the area had been left virtually defenceless uh, because the warriors from Ngāti Pahauera were away with the Crown's forces. This bill seeks to right the wrongs of the past by recognising what has happened through an agreed historical account. Crown acknowledgements and an apology by the Crown to Ngāti Pahauera and an acceptance by Ngāti Pahauera of that apology. This bill seeks to recognise the long-standing cultural and spiritual association that Ngāti Pahauera have in the region through vesting Te Heru or Tureya in uh, Ngāti Pahauera and the subsequent gift of a major portion of that area to the people of New Zealand as a historic reserve. Ngāti Pahauera will also retain uh, Nakunaku as a historic reserve and 14 other cultural redress properties will be vested in the iwi. The bill also provides for some aspects of commercial redress to compensate them for what has been lost, including authorising the transfer of five former Wairoa District Council properties to Ngāti Pahauera, licensed land within Mohaka Forest and a right of first refusal over Crown properties in the core area. I am confident the Ngāti Pahauera uh, Treaty Claim Settlement Bill will settle the Iwi's treaty claims in a full and final manner. The redress provided to Ngāti Pahauera can never compensate them for what has been lost I trust the agreement reached with Ngāti Pahauera, which is embodied in this bill, will enhance the relationship between the Crown and Ngāti Pahauera in the future. Mr Speaker, I look forward to all these bills proceeding to the committee stages without delay. The question is that the motion be agreed to. And just before I call the next speaker, I wish to advise the House that it's a split call between the Honourable Shane Jones and the Honourable Parakura Horamia. I call the Honourable 